Rejection from Brookfield's Common Council means the owners of a bicycle shop at Capitol and Lilly may pedal to another community. Yeah, Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains why the height of their proposed new building has caused such an uproar. We just, you know, we kind of thought it was going to be a done deal. When we first met Rich Bowen last August, he was circulating a petition to try and stop a redevelopment project at nearby Wheel and Sprocket. Now Brookfield's Common Council is rejecting those plans. Me and my neighbors were concerned with the quality of life here. Originally, Wheel and Sprocket proposed a five-story residential and retail building at its current Brookfield location. Co-owner Noel Kegel later scaled down the project to four stories along Capitol and three along Lilly. Neighbors said it was still too big. To me, I don't think you turn down a $33 million investment in the community over 13 feet of height on a state highway. Alderman Mike Hallquist has supported the project since day one. He says Kegel even committed millions to cleaning up contaminated soil left in an abandoned gas station on the property. In a statement to Fox 6, Kegel wrote, while we would certainly prefer to stay at our current location, we have to evaluate all our options, including moving. I certainly hope there wouldn't be a pattern of, of companies looking to exit out of the city of Brookfield. The bike shop has been in Brookfield for nearly 40 years. Hallquist says if plans were scaled down any further, it wouldn't be economically viable for the developers. Kegel said he was not available for an interview on Monday. The Brookfield Common Council rejected these plans in a vote 11 to 3. Reporting in Brookfield, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News.